Hey there guys, I'm Dings564 and this is continuation of our Let's Play of Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous and I'm thinking we're going for Ivory Sanctum. Yeah, let's go. Take 11 hours for us to travel there. We'll probably have to rest here, which means we will... Uh, we're actually okay. You know what, I will rest anyways because, well, we are a bit damaged. Unfortunately, we cannot get... Oh, we, we have! We have some... Okay, that's good. Eating Blazing par Parfait provides plus one. Um, okay, I I'm okay with that. How many do I have? Yes, begin resting. We'll, we'll get to, like, corruption level one after, like, we, we leave here, but that's okay. Because we can go back and rest after that. That's fine. Yes, we're still not in corruption level 1, we're under it. So the next one will get us over it and it'll be okay. Oh, there they go. Uh, right, these guys... Yeah, you guys... Can you move? Yes, you can move. Let's travel over here. Let's save. And... Uh, Let's attack the demon army. Okay, this is unpleasant. Well, it's actually not that bad. Okay. This guy's left, but that's okay. Like, who cares about, really about them? What I care about is the uh, archers and cavalry and grimorats. Okay, that reduced them way by quite a bit. So we should probably take care of the archers. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Uh, you guys. <laughs> uh, how about you guys just wait a second there? Hmm... Yeah, go ahead. How about we... Yes, yeah, smite evil here. And attack here. Okay, you guys attack there. Attack here. And convicts attack here. Okay. Now, you, uh, just stay put. Okay, only 11 damage, that's okay. That's fine. Um, I wonder, does it dead do damage to my... Yes, to everyone. Everyone. Okay, that sounds fine, actually. Me. And shoot these guys. Hmm. Uh, you probably just stay. Right. Kill them. Or, you know what? Go after these guys. Because these guys can finish them off. Okay, you attack here. Uh, kill yourselves up a little bit. And you attack here. I'm afraid this guys will like completely destroy them, but... Yeah, okay, that's fine. And that's fine too. Um, I can throw another one of these, but do I need to? I don't think so. This one will destroy... 43 to 2. Okay, how much this will destroy? Uh, basically the same thing. But I don't really need to destroy these guys. They don't do much damage. 
So let's use the lesser energy option and attack here. Okay, nice. Frankly, probably take them out because they have that AOE ability that I don't think I want. Okay, good. Actually, they, they probably all just leave them be so that I will be able to heal next turn. Uh, you guys stay put. They are at least useful for uh, for dispelling things, right? Um, you heal them. Good. And you attack here. Yep, attack. So you... Um, what? Why can you not move? Oh, right. I, 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 you cannot move on di diagonally? Okay. I know. Go to Brimorax. We'll figure things out. Yeah, whatever. Um, let's heal you guys. So you guys can actually... You can heal them. Yeah, let's do that. Mm. I know, move over. Okay, attack here. Kill this guy. Uh, it's fine actually, I can kill them, That that's okay. I need just to kill these guys in within this turn, which I will be able to do, I think. Yeah, that's okay. Hmm, I thought it would be worse, actually. I wonder, will it level me up? Yes, it did. A host of demons once guarded horrific remains of the Tower of Yath. Sculpted from demon flesh, the Crusaders stormed the ruins and, and ended their lives, the lives of all who dwelt within. The remains of the tower resemble the decomposing carcass of the giant beast, and the warriors of the Crusade are already setting up a war camp a few miles from the ruins to keep an eye on this heap of rotting meat. Right, so... Um, magic Instructor. All spellcasters units have plus 2 AC, Magic Reverse. Jail has 15 bo pr plus 15 bonus energy per level of, of this feat. Protective Ward. All units in the army have plus 3 saving throws per level of this feat. Might be a good idea. The problem is I don't have that many uh, spellcasters, and they usually don't get attacked, so I see is not that useful. So protective wards, except protect them from the uh, whatever is strong in them, all the magics. Okay, so these guys are done. I probably should like get them back actually uh, to base so that they can reinforce more efficiently. Uh, what do we have here? Events. Arrival of the archaeologists. They probably need me there, right? Yeah, the audience. Is there anything here? Nope. Chant sim ching the unholy symbol. Okay. That's fine. How's my... Okay, logistics about to level up. I think. When I probably get back, diplomacy is there as well. I don't know, something, something. Uh. Game mechanics. Right, you guys are going to... I was planning to send you in there, but they, it'll they take them some time to get there, so why don't we try and get to that army over there first? We'll attack them. I think it should be okay overall. Right, there's th these guys. I'm not entirely sure who they are. I might put it like a trap here. Three twelve. Okay, 
These guys are... Oh, these guys actually throw things, right? So why don't we focus on them first? Oh. Not bad. Uh, you wait, probably. Uh, you get out. You wait. You wait. Oh, this guy got into a trap. Perfect. Are they immune to... Uh, electricity no it doesn't look like it one three or one three okay let's go with electricity on these guys um probably wait a little bit what the hell my wizards Okay, not bad. Sure, let's go attack these guys. Um, yeah, you guys. Okay, move up. Uh, why don't you get, uh, go and attack this guy? Maybe he'll attack you. Yeah, that's good. Because, well, they're kind of crap anyway, so... In attacking, but we're really good at defending. Okay, destroy these guys over here. Uh, we can probably heal up these guys a little bit. Oh. She's acting up a lot. Like, not acting up, but acting. Uh, yeah, attack from here. Okay, I was... Uh, Barbarians, where are you? Barbarians actually do a decent amount of damage. They hit pretty good. Like, they don't do much damage, but they, their melee attack is pretty good. So, I'm not sure. They might be actually better than I thought. Yeah, that's fine. I know, go here. Uh, go here. I did all heal them up. Get over here. Okay. Yeah, attack this guy's here. So that they will hit harder, let's make more of them. Okay, not bad. Yeah, we, we won this fight, there's no need to do anything else. Oh, she's constantly like acting two turns in uh, in one round, which is uh, pretty damn nice. Okay, the duelists are not that good. <laughs> on the other hand, this guy did his job though, right? He he held the, held off these guys over here for before I was like free to actually do things. My my view is like these guys probably better than this ones, right? Champions, how much did they do? Four hundred ninety-seven. Uh, while I guess we'll... like half of the barbarian did basically the same amount of damage. What was that? Monsters that opposed the Crusaders were truly ab abominable. Their bodies manifested weird mutations, extra eyes, an 
unpaired limbs, mouths in, in their bellies and withered half-grown heads, helplessly dangling on, the, on their shoulders. The leader of this hideous cohort was just a pile of moving flesh, who struggled to retain its humanoid appearance. Even as it died, it continued to steer a monstrous brew of large uh, ret retowned cauldrons. Shuddering with disgust, the crusaders speared inside the cauldron and managed to retrieve some of the he its hideous contents. Chunks of bodies belonging to demons, mortals and other unknown creatures twisted convulsively still alive. The soldiers did not know what to do with this vile trophy and delivered to commander. Okay. Uh, that's a weird thing to give to the commander, but I guess you do what you do. They travel... Uh, wait, um, I need to, like... Uh, actually, yeah, that's probably fine. Let's go over here. How far is she from leveling up? Oh. Pretty far. I don't think this killing these guys over here will do anything to that end, so... Fine, let's go to the Ivory Sanctum. I will need probably to um, reapply the thing for her. Yep. I don't understand what it, why that happens. This war uh, let's reapply heroism on everyone. Uh, By the way, bonus for your favorite thing. Cooking bonus to attack. Oh, okay, that's pretty good. Uh, I applied terrorism to someone twice, but that's okay. Um, and use this on yourself. Okay. Let's go. Where does this lead? There was supposed to be like a pile of skulls somewhere, right? That like opens the door and we have the key. So... I think we have everything. Follow my steps. Yo. Oh. oh, you again. Raper is already waiting for you. He looks around warily, not uh, taking his hand off his weapon. Greetings, Commander. As you may have been already have already guessed, I'm not waiting for you here by accident. I'd like to decide an assignment I just received. I have a new target, you. I've not accepted the job yet, mostly because I found this client less than agreeable of late. Now if you are satisfied with my skills, and you'd like to make use of my services in the future, we can sign a full contract. If not, however, I'm afraid it would be not be profitable for me to turn down this new assignment. Actually, I want to take him just to go to the ancient ruins again. In such a case, as, as strange as I may sound, I must warn you that I will have no choice but to kill you. Well, that's very confident of you. You won't believe how many times I've heard that professional soldiers are better. Uh, better than volunteers or paladins or anybody else who fights for good because they know in their heart it is the right thing to do. So look at this guy's guy and you know what I think? See what spits and discuss bullshit. People whose loyalties are so easily bought. Sometimes they're even worse than demons. Well, if he follows his tr contract, that's pretty okay, right? I mean... Tell him to bugger off to the abyss. I should like to see him try and kill you. If he's good at he as he claims, this could be quite dr the dramatic performance. If not, well, it'd still be a one-act comedy. <laughs> oh, who ordered you to kill Drazen that? It would be against my professional ethics. Uh, besides, this client was kept there, has kept their in identity anonymous. So even if I wanted to, if I, if I wanted to, I couldn't tell you anything. But I think I can offer some insight. In my last assignment from the client, I was asked to give Will Willidus best regards to the victim. I know who this Willidus is, but. If I were you, I would talk to him. 
Okay, I'm, I'm ready to, to hurry. Offer you my services. As you can guess, a full contract will be more expensive than a one-time job. I think twelve and a half thousand gold would be a fair price. Hmm. Sure, have a double. It is always a great pleasure to work with a client who can tell a professional from an amateur. It's rare these days to find someone who appreciates high-quality work and is willing to pay for what it's worth. I Do I want him is the beginning instead of, of anybody? No. And productive partnership. Uh, with a smile, the dwarf hands you a neatly folded letter. Here's the, the, Here, have this little souvenir. It's a letter ordering me to kill you. Some uh, Something to show for your... Show your grandchildren. Okay, uh... Sir Graybor, you failed to meet the terms of our last contract. Even though the weapon I provided you had a guaranteed lethal effect. In anticipation of your objection, I can assure you that the dagger was in perfect working order. and There is no doubt as to the functionality of its deadly properties. Failure to make proper use of the weapon is therefore entirely on you. However, consider your excellent considering your excellent reputation, I'm willing to give you a chance to remedy this situation. The demon leader are no longer of interest to me. I now find Commander Aglar, the new master of this town, to be far more troublesome. I'm willing to pay you 6,000 gold pieces for his head, 3,000 for which of which you are already paid for the assignment you failed to complete. The remaining 3,000 will be enclosed with this letter. I hope to prove... Uh, I hope you prove most, m more successful this time. Let's head out. Okay. Uh, wait. Horse, why are you not following me? Uh... Wasn't there supposed to be, a uh, A pile of skulls somewhere in here? I guess we didn't explore this area. Right. Or did we? I think we did. Eh? Let us be careful. Am I missing something? We probably need something else from from somewhere. Right? To be able to access it. That's most likely what's happening here. Hmm. Can I not? I cannot go there. That's weird. Oh, there's there's a pile of skulls. Derp. I was expecting a much larger pile of skulls, actually, you know? There we go. Okay, let's save. And off we go inside. I was expecting like a mountain of skulls, not like that, just a little small pile. Oh, hello. I'm prepared. Uh, everybody. Just, just move over here. While you just attack here. Do not oh, okay. Do not waver. Well then, uh, how how ferocious are you? Not very. Like I would say, Surrender barely us. at all. Oh, okay. Um, that might not be as I thought it would be. But it barely did any damage, because they're also probably 
relatively low level, right? We basically just saved, passed the saves and uh, that was that. But still, it's a little annoying. So, okay, you attack here. And you will uh, do resist energy communal. That will be good enough, I think. Uh, pull back a little bit. There's a Minotaur, extra okay, regular Minotaur. Hmm. Let's, let's focus on this guy. Okay, you pull back a little bit, and uh, how about we use this? Yeah, that sounds good. Attack all the Minotaurs. What was that? Something... F there was something fake. Something. I don't know. Whatever. Right, you. How about... here? It did some damage. I'll pull back a little bit. Yeah, yeah, please attack the uh, miniatures you're attacking. That'll be uh, really nice. Why only one action? Hmm, I don't know. So... Don't want to go for a stone skin commu stone skin communal. Uh, you know what? Probably just heal. Okay, twenty two for everyone. That's pretty good. And you attack this guy. Prepare yourself. Okay, go for it. What? Like, how did he do that? Right, am I using fin Finian? I am using Finian. Okay. Now. Probably another one of these, actually. I can move right over... Oh, uh, actually, there are two Brimaraks on the way there, so... Yeah, that's fine. Okay, not bad. I'm surprised they were hitting Sila there. Because I think they need 20 to hit her. Let's, uh, let's heal her. Okay. And that will be that. Okay, can you finish this guy off somehow? I'll cut you wide open. Good. Um, you know what? Don't do this. Just finish this guy off. Nice. Sila, charge. No, just charge, yeah. Oh, come on. Really? What the hell happened there? He really roll natural twenty. Like how many natural twenties can they roll? Uh, okay, let's try it on you. Nope, didn't work. Why? I don't know. That's so annoying because it's waste the turn. Because someone needs to do something about that for sure. 
Okay, you can, can go just attack. The spirits demand your blood. Okay, good. Okay, and go over here. Cool. Okay, let's continue on. What do we have here? Wall and lit with whimsical mosaic of bones from humans animals and some unknown creature creatures that is I sense something hey okay. I am helpful am I not unlock the door and let's go in okay, there are a couple of shooters there let's but... have some fun. oh and there's some huge oh yeah we faced them in the armies before but never I don't think actually in the uh... In battle. Uh, let me see. Not that difficult, I don't think. Make your peace. Mm. Attack is pretty good. You know, what? shoot him. Resist. Oh shit! Who's this? Good thing it was, uh, it was the, uh, fire thing. How about we try to do this on him? Can I, like, just... Hmm. Unfortunately, this didn't work on him. How much did he f succeed by, I wonder? Oh, by one. That, that's, that's a shame. Oh, man. That's a shame. <laughs> hey, you go over there. Who, who this? Okay, I didn't notice there was a guy here. I just wanted to finish off that guy. But horse will go and attack this dude. Mm. Can we do this? Yes, let's do this. just move in actually maybe you like use this on that see what just make you no over there without risk. and smack you okay no contest. <laughs> that was funny he was trying to charge i think the horse right Did we succeed in overcoming it? No, we didn't. Okay. But I think we can still attack, right? We're not paralyzed or anything. We can still attack him. Uh, let's just kill this guy here. Okay, he flew away somewhere in the underground there. <laughs> oh, that's this guy. Okay, he is quite annoying, it seems. Okay. What's an unholy nimbus? Oh, he has an unholy nimbus. I thought. 
What does it do? Oh, he has constitution damage. Oh, right, right, right. That's her ability. He has pretty high uh, uh, fortitude as, as well, I think. Yeah, he has 40 to 16. I mean, he has higher will, but still. Now he has constitution damage. Is he staggered? He might be, like, immune to staggered, though. Unholy Aura. Hmm. One of them darkness runs, okay. Well, whatever. He's dead almost, so who cares what it is, really. Nice. 38 damage, that was pretty damn good. Into okay, go attack here. Fray. Oh, is the horse confused? It's in a daze. Okay, smiting with this guy. Colossus. I wish, really wish they would have, like, description of the, who this... Who these demons are, what, like, what, where are they from, like, who they serve and stuff like that. You know, like, just stuff from the bestiary. Or if there is no bestiary for certain creatures, just add it. Okay, how about we uh, reduce his AC, just to make sure it's easier to hit. Okay. And attack here. Nice. Oh, who's, who's taking con damage? Is horse taking con damage? No. Oh, he took con damage, okay. I think. What is this? Like this plate, it's highlighted, but... A chaotic conglomeration of confessions from the Baphomet's cultists. A murder cult crusader officer assumed his appearance and served in the crusade army for 10 years. And filled the inquisitor squad of Canabras and selected the, the cultists that were to be burned at the stake for half a year. Nobody knows how much of this is true. Don't even try to gloat. Okay, these are some. See, I'm indispensable. Uh, the long glorious history of Ivory Sanctum is de described in this tablet. The Sanctum was built at the time of Second Crusade and was, and has served as a stronghold of Baphomet's unstoppable forces, ever since. Okay. Follow my steps. I shine in all endeavors, even failed ones. Like he he failed half of them. Um, I'm assuming these are to unlock maybe the door here? Or how about, like, you go over, step on this one. Like, you go step on that one. What will happen? Oh, this opens the door. Okay. Yo, it's you. Familiar narrow shadow appears before you. An antenna on the creature's head quiver, its hands, like, uh, linked together, tightly together. You've arrived, Commander. Comes high-pitched voice in your head. You have discovered my castle in the clouds, although it is far from what it was once. It was, it once was. Uh, her voice bothers with irritation. I have something you need: information and assistance. You can help me in return. Let's talk. As a gesture of my goodwill, I will even allow you, to, your companions, to hear our conversation. See, I'm uh, eminently reasonable. What are your proposition? This place, the Ivory Sanctum, used to be my own personal domain, but in recent times I have been forced to share it with a horde of allies, quote-unquote. There is one among them who will likely interest you. Scientist the Plagued One. Oh, I heard about him. Jerboy's voice chitters with emotion. It drops to a 
a heated whisper. A swarm that that walks, a mesmerizing creation. Who could have uh, imagined that a mortal could be turned into something so extraordinary? He is behind many of the cal uh, calamities that have befallen you. It is from his hands that myself and other demons have received our new abilities. Kill him and the lords will struggle to find his equal for a long time. I would simply stand aside. I will help you as well. I will tell you that I'll tell you what I know and ensure that my servants do not attack you here in the Sanctum. You'd betray your own kind? Your own kind? Why? Because I'm a demon. <laughs> well, true enough. Rules, laws, loyalty, seek them in hell or in heaven. Anywhere but the Abyss. I serve Lord, Lord Baphomet. Hell is the place where devils, devils, or dev yeah, devils uh, reside. They are quite lawful. So, like, you sign the contract, they will, like, stick to it. It's just the, the, the contract might not be exactly what you think it is. I sort of loved Lord Baphomet for as long as I as it been benefited me more than it... More... Uh, for as long as it benefited me more than it cost me. I was the mistress here, in my castle of in the clouds. The entire territory was under my control. But then Minago, that arrogant fool, botched the attack on Canabras and the War Stones. Our laboratory in Dresden was under threat, and Santer and his minions were quickly pulled out of the city. They offered up the sanctum for his use, and made him the ultimate authority here over me. I was forced out of my private quarters, made to live on the margins with, on the margins within my own home, as a horde of demons from Descari's armies were held. Her herded in. With Santir playing commander and his servants ruining all my endeavors, there is nothing for me to do here. This place can fall for all I care. I will find a new f a patron in the Abyss. That's why I'm telling you to kill our common enemy. I will help you do it. He is Santir used to live in Dresden? Yes, close to Minago. Where, where did you think she got that pet N Nabasu of hers? Where can I find Santir? He is very close, in my former private quarters. There is only a wall separating us, but his lair is well protected. You cannot f uh, access it from here. You have to make your, uh, your way through the entire sanctum, crossing the bridge and the main guard post, which is headed by the cultist Z Z Zeneda, Zenedra. Coming back will be easier. There is a secret passage from Santir Laird into my rooms that can only be opened from the other side. You have a low opinion of Descari servants. I served Descari myself once, but I changed master masters because life among Descaris, Descarites was just unbearably boring. Like following Baphomet, Descari minions have no appreciation for their finer pleasures. All they know is killing and ravaging. You saw one of them, Drazara landed. Who? Balder. Or the one we fought in the uh, square, right in the main, not main square, but in the in the courtyard of the fortress, right? Yeah. In the Battle of Dresden, uh, he in the Battle of Dresden, he is a vivid embodiment of everything I despise about my former comrades, primitive and uh, predictable butchers, a lot of them. What information are you willing to share with me? The information that undoubtedly want more than anything. How the demons have started acquiring their new monstrous powers. It didn't start with Santir and it won't end with him. But I will tell you what, uh, what I know only if you fulfill your part of the deal. What did you do to Marhevak? I gave him the thing he wanted most, the chance to be with me forever in a new form, one more convenient for me, and for him as well. If I wish to take him with me to the Abyss, for instance? Sure, I accept your offer. That's good, then listen. There are two factions in the Sanctum currently. The ones who came here with Santir do not answer to me. That group includes ordinary demons, mythic demons, and his loyal mortal mages. We'll have to fight them. There's no getting around that. But the, there are Baphomet's followers as well. I'll give you my mark. 
so they, that my subjects will take you for one of their own. They have been dying to, to take out the unwelcome house guests for a long time, so just tell them that their mistress says do it. The demon smiles and wistfully. My mark will also serve another purpose. If you defeat Sentir, it will be his swarm and it will bind his swarm and forces to fly directly into my net. I cannot allow such a unique creature to disappear entirely. I will preserve him in some form. You once again hear under undercut of amusement in her voice. The demon uh, waves delicate hand in your direction. You are instantly doused in a sweet smelling wave. Then it passes. There, the mark is in, in place. Go and find me in my main chamber when it's over. Okay. I think I'll make a cut here and we'll continue in the next episode. So thank you guys for watching, hopefully you enjoyed it, and goodbye.